Hey guys, it's Luke Welch. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, graphic designer, and right now I'm working on a fully painted graphic novel called The Pod. Uh, it's a sci-fi story where one man is sent into the cosmos to commune with the gods to find an answer to his planet's dying sun. Now, what I'm doing here is uh, painting two pages at the same time, pages two and three. Uh, first, I'm laying in uh, an underpainting of uh, sepia tone, just getting the shadows. And uh, up above there, those two teal panels, I'm gonna add digital effects later, so I just wanted to block in some color. Now I am painting in acrylics, so they do dry rather quickly. Um, but if I ever have to wait, I do have the second page to jump to, which is kind of nice. Um, this is actually the first time I'm working this way, and it's kind of interesting. Um, always having so much work ahead of you, <laughs> you, you kind of don't get lost. Um, you always have somewhere to go. So for the sky there, I'm, I kind of had a, a rough layout of what I wanted, and then just kind of put it in loosely and keep it spontaneous and I think it worked pretty good this time I'm just kind of trying to keep loose with my brush strokes as much as I can without going over the uh, the inking so originally I was gonna paint in those panels but it didn't quite work out how I thought so I opted for the digital route for that. So now I'm laying in uh, layer upon layer of uh, color and shadow. Just slowly changing the uh, outside of these ships. To give them a more uh, metallic look. I tend to kind of work from a middle tone and go back and forth, adding more shadow and light until I feel that it looks done. Right now I've got my tech pens out and I'm just cleaning up any lines that kind of got painted over or blown out. Just I don't know. I find this way works best for what I'm trying to accomplish. Because I have tried the other way where you just paint and then ink over top of that. But the pens don't tend to work as well on top of the acrylic. So it's kind of nice to just clean up what I have to instead of, you know trying to make it work so as you can see I'm just laying in a little bit more shadow I tend to do to do this where I will get say I'm laying in the shadow I'll lay in all the shadows and then I'll come back and then I'll right now I'm laying in that sand color so I'm laying that in everywhere it's got to be and then I'll go in with like a medium tone. I usually just work across the whole image and slowly build it up. Uh, at the beginning I did lay in some color with my airbrush. Um, I don't think it really helped a whole lot. I was kind of hoping to get kind of a... almost like working from a colored, uh, colored ground in a painting where you get to, uh, to pull some of that out as you're working. But it didn't quite work the way I thought it, it would. So I don't know if I'm going to do that again. As you can see right now I'm just laying in uh, some more highlights. Now, and the whole reason I'm working with these two pages at the same time is to get a consistency on the spreads and also in the scenes. I kind of want it to 
flow into the, the next or when it changes suddenly you'd be like you know you're in a different place so again just more shadow you can never lay it in once I always gotta look at it after it dries and go, no, not dark enough. And right here, I'm just adding some texture with the uh, pencil crayon. Just a nice trick you can do over top of acrylic. And then clean up with the pens again. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you like this, uh, I've got more videos on my channel. I plan on recording a lot of this as I, uh, as I paint. So here's the final page two, and I'm pretty happy with both of them. Here's uh, page three, and uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you check out some of my other videos, and uh, thanks.